like I don't have to clear my name because I don't think I did anything wrong. So if anybody the rumors, the rumors, rumors is rumors. Yeah. There will always be and rumors. The people, the, the people listen for for them at, at certain time, you know. Mm. So now you have the chance to talk to the Egyptians and the Middle East. Yeah, but our, think. Yeah, but page, think, you know? think about it. Yeah. I can say whatever I want to say right now. He's going to say something different. Now the people are going to be split. No, actually, listen to me. Listen. No, but I was yeah, going to say something. For yeah, you. yeah. I'm going to yeah. say something right yeah. now. Yeah. The only person that could finish this problem uh -huh. would be Rami by saying, "Listen, this is how it really was, yeah. and not like this or not like that." You know. But Rami is in a situation where he has. I don't know what it is, but okay. I can understand. Uh, yeah, this is nice that you are. I can understand that he, you know, because I could, I would basically could have a real reason to be angry at Rami yeah. for putting me in this position yeah. without clearing my name where he knows it's not the case. Yeah. But I understand Rami. I understand in what position he is and they put him in. Yeah. So he's basically exactly what I said. He's under control. And until that's not the case anymore, I would never expect him to do anything. You know what I mean? So I don't even want him to get in any issues. So for me, it doesn't matter what they say, but I still say whatever you ask me, I give you the answer yeah, and I know this yeah, is the truth. Yeah. And the people that don't believe me, I, I'm, I'm sorry, but I can't people, help you. The people li will listen for what you say and they will gonna see how did you act when I ask you the question. Mm. So it will gonna show if this guy is saying lies or he's saying truth. Yeah. You know? So well, well. for sure the people can understand that there's no so much stupid outside, you know, that there are smart people too who can understand I already, the body language. I, you know? I, I already told you, I have no problem answering any question, that's why you're here right yeah, now. Yeah. So you ask me anything you want. Yeah, I, I already get what I want, but the point is that we need to say something for the Egyptians, for the, the Middle East. Yeah, this is what I want to say. Yeah. This is now, wait, let's, let's wait with the Middle East, let's go to the Egyptians first. I was... Um, portrayed as somebody that speaks bad about Egyptians. This is to all Egyptian people, and I hope when you translate this, you translate it to the point. Yeah. I, the only thing I said about Egyptian people, because I've never been to Egypt, I don't know a lot of Egyptians, so this, I cannot say something about any Egyptian people because I don't have the experience. I can only tell you what they taught me. Not that I believe it, but I said it so they would know how they speak about Egyptian people. Yeah. I was taught that Egyptians are liars, Egyptians are come to Kuwait for being the taxi drivers, or whatever. I never said this for myself. This is, I only said, why would they act like you know, Egyptians uh, uh, um, um, are bad when they use Egyptians to make a name for themselves? Rami is Egyptian. How are you going to speak bad about Rami when he's going to help you right now promote all your gyms? Yeah. You know what I mean? Let Rami go away from Kuwait. Why do you think he was so mad when he left? Because it was going to cost him his business. Yeah, for sure. His business would go down. Mm. That's the only reason. You think he cares for Rami? Do you really believe that? <laughs> <laughs> from what I heard coming from his mouth, yeah. I'll tell you right now, I highly doubt it. Okay. Let somebody else come that looks just the same and see what happens. But it doesn't matter. So, for me personally, I I know four or five Egyptian people, I know one Egyptian lady, and I would never say anything negative about a country that I've never been to. Yeah. So whoever, whoever heard that I speak bad about Egyptians, it's a lie. I can promise you all, I put this on my wife and on my daughter, it's a lie. I never said anything negative about Egyptians. Did I call these people camera crew? Yes. Why? I don't even know. I thought it was a joke. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? When I said camera, I normally want to say the chihuahuas. Yeah. Because that for me, those little guys are all the chihuahuas around him. He's got these chihuahuas around him. Yeah. So it came out as camel crew as a joke. This is me. I, didn't even, I don't mean camel crew because I, didn't, I never saw a camel yeah. in, in, in Kuwait. So it doesn't really matter. Anyways, Middle East. I've been doing business in the Middle East. I've been going back and forth to the Middle East. I have so many Middle Eastern friends, Middle Eastern clients. Why would I speak bad about the Middle East? You know what I mean? My best friends from the Middle East, and I don't, and I don't even separate Middle East. For me, it doesn't matter if you're from Iraq, if you're from Iran, if you're from Dubai, from Kuwait, it doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter. So for me, there's no country better than the other. There's only some countries have more problems than others. Yeah. And from what, I, from what I realized in the Middle East is that countries like Saudi Arabia and Kuwait are probably a little, or, Dubai, uh, or UAE, are a bit more wealthy than others. Yeah. And therefore, they act like that. Yeah. And that's, that's why I realized that some Middle Eastern people have problems with 
Middle Eastern people from there because of that. Yeah. Something I don't understand. But it's not my business because yeah. I'm not Muslim. Yeah. This, is, this is not. This yeah, is this is not, not my business. Issue, yeah. So that's why I have my best friend is from Iraq. Yeah. You know what I mean? That you are playing football right now. With no, no, no. He's now in Iraq. He's uh, he, Ali and um, Rami knows him because we were training together as my training partner. Yeah, yeah. And I have Jordanians I play football with and Syrians uh, from everywhere. You know what I mean? I don't discriminate because I'm multi biracial myself. Yeah, yeah. Why would I speak about other people? So the second thing we're going to be about Islam that Muslim people are they good in your opinion or are they bad? For me, bad, for yeah. me, everybody's the same. It doesn't matter of the religion. Too bad I don't wear my necklace right now, but I left it at home. Yeah. I have a necklace with four religions on. It has the Jewish star, it has the Buddha in the center, the half moon on the side, and the cross on the other. Yeah. For me, it doesn't matter what, what, what religion you are. I don't care if you pray on your knees. I don't care if you put your hands together. It doesn't matter to me. What matters to me is how you are to me. There's good people, Christians, and there's very bad people. And Christians mm. and I'm Christian and the same with the Jewish same with the Islam and the same with the with the Buddhist Just good and bad. So you have no hate for Islam? Never ever had any hate to anybody. Okay. Never ever I don't even know why You understand? There's no reason for me to hate anybody. Yeah, and nobody can ever say that I said anything bad about any religion Because I, I, I traveled the world for over 20 years. Why would I travel and talk bad about people that bring me? Yeah now, individual people that I have a problem with, yeah, sure. I can voice my opinion, yeah. but it has nothing to do, I don't care if he would be Buddhist, yeah. I would speak to him like that, because it doesn't matter what religion he is, yeah. you know what I mean? So, I don't even say that if you are Islam, you should follow the Quran, yeah. correct? Yeah, for sure. I never say things about him I could say that, that are not in the book. Absolutely not in the book. I would never do that. Yeah, we're not going that way. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So why would I care? I don't care. I don't. I'm not. I don't go by the Bible. Yeah, yeah. I do things that are not in the Bible. You know, this is life. You are. Yeah, yeah. You know. Sometimes, so sometimes we have our mistakes. You know. Yeah, yeah. but don't don't speak like you're perfect because you're not perfect. Yeah. When you're not perfect, don't act like you're perfect. You know, just say I, I make mistakes too. Everybody makes mistakes. Yeah. You know what I mean? And coming back to Rami, me and Rami are perfectly fine. Nice. We never had a problem. I didn't kick Rami out like people think. Rami chose to go to go back to Kuwait and choose a different coach. I told Rami. You several, have no problems with that. I told Rami before he chose the coach. I said, Rami, if you want another coach, because I heard from other people that he wasn't happy, but he didn't tell me because he felt bad. Yeah. You know, because he see how much I invest time and in my, my my heart in him. So he didn't want to break my heart. Which he didn't. I said, Rami. This is your life. This is your career. You must do what makes you happy. You must do what you think is best for you. I would never put a stone in your way. And so should he. He should never put a stone in his way. Let him do what he thinks. If he does a mistake, he will know and, re and remember. Yeah. So next time he won't do the same mistake. You understand? Yeah, so sure. no, there's no issue with me and Rami. Matter of fact, this is to all Egyptian people. I will come to Egypt, I will make it an effort in 2016, and don't be surprised if I come with Rami. Perfect. Yeah, absolutely. You're welcome. You're more than yeah, welcome. Yeah, absolutely. So, well, thank you so much for your time. This is like, we talk like this deep, mm. you know, not just about trainings and stuff. We talk about issues that it bother you or it's come around you. So this was like so perfect for me that you let me to speak with you about this stuff. So thank you for that and thank you for letting me to come film here in your room in the hotel. We are in San Marino in the competition and he already have so much stuff to do. But yeah, I, I, gotta, I gotta put on my suit. Yeah, I told him that, hey, I have to take you right now. You have to speak the, uh, for the Egyptian people. Oh, sorry, I can speak that in Arabic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> طبعا احنا احنا في سان مارينو بنصور دلوقتي مع دينيس جيمس في الاوضه بتاعته احنا بنشكره جدا ان هو رحب بينا ان احنا نقدر نسجل معاه كجيم ايجيبت وحابين نوري الناس وجهه نظره لان احنا سمعنا وجهات نظر ثانيه مختلفه جايه من عن طريق الكويت او عن طريق الناس اللي بتطلع اشاعات ان الراجل ده قال على المصريين وقال على الاسلام حاجات مش لطيفه فاحنا حب انا حبيت ان انا لان انا عارفه شخصيا انا اتقابلت معاه كذا مره فانا عارف هو بيعاملني ازاي فالمره دي انا قلت له هاي انت عندك شغل وعندك كل حاجه بس انا هاخدك من ايدك لازم نطلع الاوضه ولازم نصور الحلقه دي مخصوص عشان 
يعني ننظف اسمك تماما من الشبهات اللي كانت الدايره حواليك لانه الراجل يستحق بصراحه يعني هو كويس جدا وعامل حاجات حلوه جدا بالنسبه لمستوى الرياضه ف ومدرب محترف جامد يعني حاجه عالميه انا ثانك يو سو ماتش فور يور تايم يو ويلكم اي اي ذيس از وات اي جاست سيد ذا سيم ثينجز ذات بات اي ترانسليتد ان عربي سو ثانك يو سو ماتش فور هافينج مي ان يور روم اند ناو You were gonna take the mic. This is again to all Egyptian people, all Middle Eastern people, and uh, to the ones that don't hate me and the ones that hate me for whatever reason. Before you make a picture, before you decide to hate somebody, make sure you get the facts straight from a person that's telling you the truth. So that's all I can say. I will never say you have to love me because you know not everybody is uh, perfect. is perfect. Yeah. You know what I mean. But all I want to say is if you have a de if you decide to. Create an opinion about a person make sure you have enough information so you know who he is You know what I mean because you can portray somebody as somebody that's you know I've heard names from I'm, I'm all business and if I'll be all business I must be a very rich man because you know I helped so many people in my life and, and I don't regret anything I don't even regret helping the people the guys from uh, from Kuwait and all to all the people in Kuwait that don't hate me You know, I love you guys just the same and the people that hate me I was like, I'm sorry, and you know, I'm sorry that things went wrong and went the wrong way with you know certain individuals But I'm still Dennis James. I'm still who I am and I'll always be who I am So you cannot nobody will change me You know what I mean unless I make mistakes and then I will be man enough to say I made a mistake But at this point in time, I know my, my thing is clean. I didn't do anything wrong And from that point on, you know, you guys can decide that, you know, you don't want to talk to me or whatever. It's it's okay, you know, because like I said, not everybody like the, likes likes uh, individual person. But you know what I mean. I will still come to your country. I will still talk about your country in in a good way, of course. So if I would not like a country, I would never go there. So just for that, I hope I wish you guys all the best, and hopefully we get a chance to uh, see each other soon.